Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. We're late in the second week of the hard play scenario in the Masters of the Elements campaign. This is. Okay, Dark Storm. I think I had it spelled Dark Storm in the notes of the last episode. He's AI hero. They're tan colored this time. And he's getting awfully close to where Rissa is, so maybe we should have Rissa go check this out. <coughs> I think we'll go capture those beholders before he can. And then attack. After we save, of course. But he's got a much smaller army than Rissa, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Oh, yeah. Some troglodytes and harpies, but that's about it. I'm thinking a magic arrow should be sufficient. I'm gonna go after the harpy hags first. Because those are going to be the trickiest to deal with. Okay, good. Basically, we're move right now. We're moving melee units down to guard our behold air air beholders. If you've been following my Let's Plays of Gold Box games, you'll notice the Beholders in Heroes of Might and Magic are a little different looking than the ones in the Gold Box games. They've got these long tentacles hanging down, but you know, otherwise they do have a gaze attack. Okay, well that wasn't so bad. Ooh, we got the Ring of the Wayfarer and the Equestrian's Gloves. And I would note that Darkstorn had not yet flagged that beholder tent. Which means he must have come from someplace else. <gasps> Look at that. That must be one of the one of the AI control castles. Okay, now meanwhile got Tartum here, who started flagging these golem factories, basically because he's the only one that had an army <coughs> able to tackle the golems guarding the factory. It's not just gold golems, there's some diamond golems too. They're very resistant to magic, so we might as well not bother using spells on them. Okay, and I think basically the only missile troops we've got here are the enchanters themselves. So for now I'm just going to have melee units move up and guard the enchanters for now. And then these other melee units I'm just going to have defend. I did hire some golems from the golem factory I liberated earlier. Okay, we'll defend. 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 Uh, I could attack, but I would note that there are a lot more diamond golems in that enemy stack than I've got, so we'll just have everybody defend for now. <coughs> Good. 
good. Yes, I definitely would like to recruit some more. And while I'm thinking about it, let's build things at the various castles I control. Fill that up to a city hall, which will improve my cash flow. And we'll build a pillar of eyes at the other dungeon castle. Let's definitely recruit some troops here. That'll help defend the castle in case anybody gets frisky and starts heading out that way. And building a mage tower at our starting castle will provide some more people that Tarnum can convert to enchanters if he ever has a chance to visit. Okay, we do have some earth elementals guarding that. water wheel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we now have a strong enough army that the elementals run. You know, Syro. I'm not quite sure what you're doing there, Syro. That I could really use. I don't even need all your gremlins either. And in fact, I might give you the stone golems just so I have a place to, to put, say, like mages that I want to turn into enchanters. Astral. Let me go pick up resources for now. And then if you can reach Tarda, maybe we can get all the orbs in one place. Okay, the windmill hasn't been visited yet this turn. And Josephine needs to give. Almost all your gremlins to Syra. And then who knows, maybe Syra can catch up to where I'm not quite sure where to send Josephine here. Well, let's come back to her in a minute. Okay, Serena, we were having to pick up resources. And then 
Iona. Where are we sending her? Ah, uh, basically back up this way. To be a garrison hero. Josephine, that might actually not be a bad plan for you. Yeah, we've already got Hale on there. That's the one we were sending. Okay, maybe we could send Josephine way over there. Okay, sounds like a plan for now. Well, let's see if we're still able to scare away Earth Elementals. Tarnum's army. Yep, good. That'll make it a lot easier to get around. Now, it's already got Earth Magic. Let's see if he's able to tackle those Medusa Queens. Rissa. Ah, that will help. Yep, just like a redwood tower on the surface. Now, we have a clear path to this castle, which appears to be empty. I wonder where the other tan heroes are. Okay, well, since it is the last turn of the week, I mean, yeah, we need to figure out where people can go pick up more troops. some troops here. And now finally we've got plenty of wood. I remember we were running, starting to run a bit short on that before we found more sawmills to liberate. Here we can build a chapel of stilled voices here. This will not be the last time we see dungeon troops in Heroes Chronicles. Okay, we've just built the Altar of Wishes, so now we can hire Jeans. 
I noticed the unupgraded genies appear to be ladies, but when you turn them into master genies, they become guys. Not quite sure why that is, but okay. Ah. Yeah, and there's still things that we need to clear up here. Okay, well maybe we can get Serena that far at least. And then Iona, we'll just put her right into that castle there. And she could be our garrison hero. Yeah, we'll even buy her a ballista. Okay. Okay, I think we should be ready to move on to the next week. Well, so we've located one of the AI castles, and we need to find the other one, which I assume is probably down here. But meanwhile, we've got Tarnum ready to tackle these Medusa Queens that control this area that Astro was exploring from the other direction last game. These ladies are archers of a sword. Should be able to take most of them out with a light most of a stack out with a lightning bolt spell. Since they're missile units, we want to have our billy units advance forward and engage them. the other one. Alright, then we'll let somebody else pick up all the resources, hopefully. But we will have trying to get more spell points. And then Rissa like that. And then that tan castle is empty. It's got all kinds of stuff here. I'm guessing it's probably the weaker of the two.
build the channel. So voices and we'll hire troops. I think we might finally be starting to run low on gold, which hasn't been a problem up to this point in this scenario. That is the downside to controlling this many castles. Oh well. Sculptor's wings. Like the song out first. The water wheel was close. Might as well have Astral pick up troglodytes. We'll go to the water wheel first because we just plain don't have the gold to recruit any more troops. Which is why we need to clear some of these areas. We better just send Serena toward the other castle since we don't have the resources to give her. Unless we trade some of our excess ore. Which, now that we control so many castles, we should have a fairly decent exchange rate for. That's better. Okay, and now we've got a stack of earth elementals here. And another one here. And a Medusa store as we head for. Maybe we can have Astral catch up to turn him that way. I think we'll do that off camera and when we come back in the next episode we can clear some more of the tan areas and look for that second tan castle. So we'll see you then.